Hi, I'm Jonathan Weinberg, and this is Drawing with Fountain Pens. On September 27th, I was really excited because it was the annual Pelican Hub. And for the first time, New Haven, where I live, was chosen as one of the sites for the hub. And I was the uh, Pelican master for that. Um, we got a, a group of people to sign up and um, it was very interesting. I'd never actually been to one of these events and so I hosted it and it was interesting to see sort of how this works, how commercial it would be. Um, I'm a huge fan of Pelican's fountain pens. If you watch this channel, you know that I always um, speak about the M800 as being my favorite fountain pen. So it wasn't difficult for me to sort of endorse Pelican, but the concept is um, th that they designate a particular time. It was six o'clock uh, on September 27th, which is a Friday. And all across the world, I guess, people meet and talk about fountain pens. Um, they did ask that, um, uh, you know, that if you want to, you show a little PowerPoint with some images of Pelican, not very much about that. And they sent stuff, they sent a big banner that they asked the people sign. And they sent some ink to give out for free as, as gifts and little pads of paper. And they also um, gave me this little cup, I guess, which is nice, a little metal cup to remember as a, a souvenir of this um, event. Um, you were allowed to, since it's my house, they said you were allowed to invite your friends. You don't just have to be people who signed up for the hub. About 10 people signed up. Some people in the end said they couldn't come, but then several people who didn't sign up originally for New Haven found out that it was going to happen in New Haven. And instead of, let's say, going to New York or Boston, um, said, came, came to me. So it was a nice group of, um, you know, 10, 15 people came i had pizza and wine and people talked about fountain pens and it really was cool because we got to so uh, I, there were people i knew very well but also people i didn't know at all and who live in the area and now are part of uh the group we have a little group of people who are sort of constitute a connecticut club and we meet on zoom whatever and this way uh, we were able to sort of expand our, our group. If you watch this channel, you'll know that I don't tend to talk that much about ink, you know, every now and then. Um, but I was intrigued by the ink that we got as a gift from Pelican. This is Edelstein's um, uh, Golden Lapis. Um, every year, I don't know how long this has been going on, but for several years, uh, Pelican uh, introduces an ink of the year and a pen uh, in their M200 or 205 series that goes um, with that with that ink. I don't have the pen that goes with the ink this year, um, but I do have the pen from uh, 2021 Golden Barrel pen. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the ink that came with that. There was a kind of gold flecked ink that was a bit I thought a bit anemic um, but when I got some of this uh, bloop ink I immediately thought wow that would look great I think today I'm going to um, sort of review this pen and try out the ink uh, I'm not going to draw for you uh, but I will show you a drawing that I did using the ink and of course I'll do a writing sample. It's a really pretty pen I think and the ink I think is gorgeous. Uh, so that's what I'll do today. As always if you find the information here useful uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know if you if you went to one of these hubs. I hope now that New Haven will be a choice next year and that it will be even more popular. Let me know uh, what you think. So here is the Pelican M200 barrel, golden barrel model. Um, you can see it's white. Um, the M200 line is uh, among the more affordable 
of the Pelican pens that have the piston filler. They have um, steel nibs. Um, the 200 line is gold, um, uh, you know, gold plated. The 205 is um, chrome. So that's the difference in the numbering system with the same size pen. Um, they are relatively small pens. So Pelican makes a, a slightly less expensive um, pen that also is a piston filler. This is the, the 150. Um, the 200 line is the same size as the uh, Pelican um, M400. Here is an M400. And really, it's very similar pen. The, this is, the M400 is in the Suveran line, and um, I believe the differences are that the piston is going to be metal piston in here rather than the plastic piston. Um, and so it's, and, and the 400, the M400 has a gold 14 karat nib, while the 200 line has a steel nib. But the interesting thing is when you, that these nibs, are interchangeable so you could if you wanted to put a gold nib on to a 14 karat nib on to the uh, m200 line let's say if you really like this pen like the way it looks but you wanted a gold nib you could take get a nib and you can't buy these nibs um, separately and they screw in and out um, there's ink in this pen so i'm not going to show you that on this pen but and see that they screw in and out and that's one of the cool things it also makes it easier to clean them um, when you can take the nib out that way um, anyway uh, I'm always sh showing you this but these pens in terms of size this is the next line up is the gonna be the um, 600 which is bigger see a bit bigger and then it goes to the um, 800 and then all the way up to the M1000 which is really big um, I've gotten used to the size of the M200 the M400 at first it seemed a bit small but actually I kind of like it now um, when it's posted. So the thing that's hard to see, I don't know how hard it is to see, but is that the golden barrel model has these beautiful bit, bits of flecks of gold in it, and it's quite translucent. Now, I thought, although it was made when it came out, uh, you were supposed to put the golden barrel uh, uh, Adelson ink in it, um, I actually thought that this new lapis blue, golden lapis blue ink would look gorgeous in this. And in fact, it does. It really is beautiful and, and really, I think, makes this pen. So I was really pleased to get some of this ink and try it out. Normally, I would not put ink that has flecks of gold uh, in it into my favorite pens because I worry about it clogging the pen. Um, uh, Pelican claims that that won't happen <clears throat> with this ink, but only time will tell. But I think it's, it's really very beautiful color. It's a wonderfully beautiful color. And um, uh, so I'm really pleased to get to use it. And I think this is a very pretty pen post really well. I always sing the praises of Pelican in terms of the way their piston pens post because when you turn the cap or pull the cap in and out, it doesn't turn the piston. All piston pens should do that, so that's very nice. It has, of course, the Pelican beak for the clip, which is nice. It has the um, Pelican clip. It looks like a Pelican's beak. And then it also has the very nice finial with the uh, chicks on it, which is pretty. Back is just very simple. It's a very pretty pen. Um, 
Maybe, you know, the one thing that looks a little inexpensive is the plastic piston. It's white, though. It goes with the pen. To get a sense of how beautiful this ink is, um, I did a kind of elaborate drawing of flowers, uh, dahlias, actually, kind of free form, because I really want to get a sense of the ink. And I don't know if you can see this, but the ink has little bits of gold flecks in it. And it's just a beautiful blue. Um, see if we get him really close. Yeah, there you can see the sort of shininess of the gold that's in the ink. But it, you know, I I really pulled the ink there to really bring out the gold. Here it's a little more subtle, I think. So here's the bottle, the beautiful bottle that the Golden Lapis Ink comes in. Uh, it is the 2024 ink of the year. It comes in this box. It's interesting that the, actually the box doesn't have the date on it, and I suppose that's so that they can keep selling it after 2024. Um, the other thing I think is interesting is it describes the ink as extra soft ink. I've never heard of that description before. And I suppose that relates to the way the ink does seem to flow in the pen and make the pen write very, very smoothly, unusually smoothly. I'm assuming that there's some kind of lubricant in the ink that is, is doing that. And these are really beautiful bottles. These are, it's an exp and you can see the gold, by the way, in the uh, ink ink, it sort of settles the bond. So when you use the ink you have to you know shake it up to try to get that gold into the ink if you want if you want the bits of the gold to sort of be in there when you're writing with it or using the ink okay first i'm going to brush the ink you can just see how gorgeous this is the color and you can see the little bits of the gold reflecting. I don't know if it, it's coming out on the camera, but I can see it. And then I'm using a very wide nib of a Pilot Parallel Pen just to try it out here. I'm no calligrapher. But you can see how beautifully it shades. And this is just the M200. I just think it's gorgeous color. So this is the Pelican M200. And this is the golden barrel model. And this is Edelstein uh, Golden Lapis 224 Ink of the Year. Edelstein is the uh, name of the high end Pelican ink. Uh, this is Rhodia paper. Now this is a broad, oh, by the way, it's a broad. And the nib does not have any line variation, but it is amazingly smooth. It is very, very smooth, very pleasant. And 
this particular ink writes very wet. The f instant that I put this in the pen, I was surprised at how beautifully it flowed. Um, and I don't know what what they have in the ink, but it just just pours out of the pen in a way that other uh, inks don't. Um, so that's if that's the kind of thing that you like. Um, and it has this lovely sort of shading to it. Just lovely color. I don't usually get excited by ink colors, but I just, there's something just n nice about this tone of blue. It's, it's not turquoise. It has a kind of stone quality to it, like a precious stone quality. Um, now the thing with the gold, the little flecks of gold, is that when you're just writing with it, you really don't see it. So, I don't know. Uh, to me, that's a bit gimmicky, maybe. But if you, I suppose, draw with it or, or use a brush, use a lot of the ink, you will get some of that. Um, Trying to see if you get it. But maybe, maybe it gives that color, gives the blue a certain sheen, a certain stone-like quality, as I say. Jewel-like quality, that's really what I'm thinking. Um, it maybe that it does help it do that um, but the surprise is at least um, when I've been using this pen is that it hasn't clogged the nib at all instead quite the opposite the ink just pours out so I am so pleased and grateful to Pelican for uh, you know giving me this ink and also I was able to give it to the people who came to the hub. One of the things that Pelican asks that we do uh, for the hub is that we all sign the banner uh, and put some messages on it. We did that and we posed together with the banner to sort of um, memorialize this great occasion. And we sent the emails to Pelican to show what we did. So I think it's very nice. You know, obviously it's meant to um, uh, advertise Pelican's pens, but uh, you know, I think that it, it, it's, it, you know, it's not a crazy commercial thing and the benefit of it bringing together people who really care about fountain pens seems to me really worth it. Mm -hmm.